Okay, so <laughs> I don't know how to explain this, but um, I finally have motivation to do work <laughs> for like the first time in like a while. I have I have motivation. Yay, yay me. <laughs> Uh, originally I was gonna make like a whole little skit where I bust open my door and I just scream across my room but I'm like nah people are asleep I don't want to do that I'm too excited to talk about this uh, I should have talked about this sooner since this happened um, a while ago it happened like earlier this month and I was like eh, I can do that later well it's later I'm doing it now fuck it <laughs> so if you guys are confused um, I'm gonna be criticizing this person who made a comic called B Crimes Do Gay, which talks about uh, how they used to shoplift when they were a teenager. Uh, I'm gonna state this now, uh, people do not go and shoplift, that is highly illegal and you can go to jail for that because that is stealing something you did not pay for. Um, and honestly, if this person gets pissed at me because I'm talking about uh, what they made the comic about, they know that they're still getting clout from this and they still come up with stupid excuses for why they're um, doing what they're doing. So, eh, if they get pissed at me, it's not really my problem. I'm just speaking about how what they said was wrong and how their statements are also wrong because obviously people do get punished and sometimes it is not it is not the thief. Like I've stated, theft is wrong. Don't steal. You wouldn't steal out of someone else's house so why would you steal from a company? Even though you may not like that company but still you shouldn't steal. It's still wrong. But likewise, um, my whole thing isn't going to just critique and criticize the artist. No, no, no. We're going to actually look through the comments that were left on this tweet. Both from the artist and from other people. And some actually coming from people that have worked at jobs where people have been fired because of theft. And how some people have even lost hours because of theft. Now I'm going to state this. Some people do get pissed when uh, you mention how people lose hours or lose jobs because of theft and some people say that doesn't happen. Here's the thing, it doesn't happen at every store. I worked at a, a Halloween store that was only going to last until like November. So our theft policy was more on the side of make sure people don't steal but don't like target certain people how uh, my manager put it was target everyone doesn't matter if they don't look suspicious or not target them doesn't matter who they are they could steal doesn't matter even a kid it doesn't matter because people will steal i know this because i used to when i was a kid and i hate it i hate that i did it um so yeah just don't don't fucking steal because you think you're quirky. It is not quirky at all. Whether you think it's right or wrong, just don't do it. Also, people are uh, wondering, uh, this video does cut from two, two different things. Because at one point I did get frustrated because I was trying to draw one thing, got frustrated and had to take a break. So yeah. Uh, but besides that, let's continue. I'll read some of the tweets that I think are either funny, worth talking about, or needed more discussion about. So likewise, this person made a their own little follow-up called Made a Cute Little Follow-Up to the comic where it shows uh, the little hedgehog dude getting fired because uh, he didn't stop the stealer even though he didn't know. And this person said, you've never worked retail, lol. I will let you guys know this again. Not all retail jobs work the same. Some are a little more relaxed. All my other jobs were kind of relaxed. I mean, we still cared because, like, you know, it's wrong to steal. But there's been times where we had no idea someone stole. And even we were all shocked. Like, someone once stole a whole bunch of mice. Frozen mice, mind you. And we were all like, how? Why would you do that? That's not worth it. They're very cheap. And it was 
was just a clusterfuck after that. No one got, no one lost their job and hours weren't cut, but like, it was still just why? <laughs> why frozen mice? They're cheap. But I have no clue, but like, why? Um, they were saying how, uh, it says, I've seen this comment over and over, man. Why can't y'all just realize that your personal experience isn't universal? Just because you personally never saw someone get fired slash harassed over theft doesn't mean it doesn't happen, which it does a lot. And I, I do, I do relate to that. Not fully. I never lost my job because of theft, but it's, it's a struggle because people don't want to lose money. Um, like I said, the Halloween job, it didn't matter that much because the costumes were fucking cheap as shit. So it didn't matter that much, but it was still something like, just make sure no one does it. Because if you steal like a whole ass Harry Potter, uh, costume, yeah, that's going to cost the company a lot. But if you were to steal like glasses, we didn't care that much. I mean, we cared, but like, it wasn't as serious as like fucking stealing a whole Harry Potter costume. Uh, this person still continues. The corporation you're attempting to stick it to aren't going to feel a lick of that theft because it's all insured. The only people being punished are minimum wage employees. Like, for God's sake, there's more progressive slash productive things you can do with your time than committing petty theft. Like stated, just don't steal. It's not worth your time. You could get in trouble. And now this was taken from what uh, the artist had stated, which is, Okay, even if workers did get fired all the time for folks coming in and stealing, which they don't, uh, they're wrong on that, why blame the petty theft and not the company for treating their workers like shit for something that's out of their control? Because you shouldn't steal. That's the whole thing. I could make a comic talking about why you shouldn't steal because you harm the company. How hard is it to un understand that you shouldn't steal? You may not like a company, and that's fine. I sure as hell don't like Target, or I don't like PetSmart, but I don't steal from them. I know how hard that might hurt them. That's not worth my time. But uh, I even heard like that the artist only worked one retail job. I don't know how true that is, and I'm not going to state it as fact. But it just, uh, it's frustrating, kind of. It's really frustrating. Person asked, I love this, but my immediate first stop, it thought is weirdos are going to, weirdos are going to think you literally did this instead of a cartoon animal you made, you made up, you made up, uh, I can't read, you made up did it. And the artist responded, I mean, this is how I got all my art supplies as a teenager. No. No, you don't, you don't do that. You don't, I, I literally got a job so I can get art supplies. That's how I got my tablet. I paid for my tablet so that I could do art better. So that it fucking lasts me more than a year. And trust me, that happened. It was frustrating. Every year or every two years, my, one of my tablets would fucking just die. And it sucked. And then when I got my iPad, it made life easier. Not granted, the pen kind of sucks, but like, I could deal with that. And someone says, get Procreate. No, I'm not doing that. I don't like that app. Stupid. Likewise, as someone that works at a convenience store, don't do that shit. I get enough crap from customers and supervisors. Don't need someone doing petty theft either. Or they're going... Or they're going or they're getting a roll of quarters to the head. Now, the last part of it was a joke. Because, uh, honestly, you shouldn't throw things at people. Because that's very... That's not right. You shouldn't do that unless it's in self-defense. And I guess this person didn't understand it. And said, hmm. Yes, advocating assault and battery for petty theft. The irony. It was a little joke, my dude. They even stated it later down the line that it was a fucking joke. I just, I can't with some people. I literally can't. Per this person said, I seriously wouldn't encourage stealing from small businesses, especially independently owned art stores, which frequently get shut down because of few buyers. Plus, nice art supplies are a luxury item 
they are they're a luxury item you don't need them and that store that store in your comic already had a sale going on this is just sad man uh what they mean what they uh this person was talking about how in the comic uh there was a uh sale going on at this fictional store that their character was going to steal from and it's one of those where you're like, why? Why why would you do that? Like I said, I don't go to art uh, stores a whole lot. I I just don't like to. They're really expensive and I have to have like a lot of money to get that shit. Just like if I was to go to any store. But yeah, we're going to continue. It was extremely cool being an inventory manager, getting paid $8.50 an hour, and getting yelled at by our corporate office once a week because I can't work miracles for shortage on our product sheets that aren't damaged, but were regularly stolen. Glad it makes you feel cool. Yeah, like I said, do not steal. Most corporates don't understand because they see, like, things uh, not adding up, and they're like, well, where's this item? And you have to explain to them, like, it's not there. It's stolen. And they don't understand. So many places you can go to act that way. And you can be upset about that all you want. But it does happen because some corporations bring in other people to help. And they just don't understand because they've never worked a day as in a retail job. And it's just saddening. It really does because even my own mother is going through that. And she doesn't work retail. She works for the military. I'm sorry, just... It's stupid. It really is. But we continue. This one's from the artist. Okay. Even if workers did get fired all the time... Okay. Never mind. I actually read that. Um, I'm so sorry. But yeah, it's just basically the same thing. But still, you shouldn't steal. It's still wrong. We continue. She's just a bad apple with wasted talent. Nothing more, nothing less. Not to mention she is a full-blown narcissist. I'll be frank, but just from the way she draws her comic, it wouldn't be hard to think she had actual psychopathic traits. Now, I'm not going to say that the artist does. That is not my place, and no one should think that I agree with those. But I will state that the artist doesn't seem to understand the weight of her of them stealing. You shouldn't steal. That's how you ruin companies. You may think that, oh, I'm getting this eraser for a cheap price. Or, oh, I'm getting this really nice Copic marker set for free. When in reality, you're actually harming that company. You think that you're doing a fantastic job. When in reality, you, you're not. You're being a dick to the company and it's you sh like I've, I've always stated this do not steal learn from me I used to do it as a kid because all I wanted was fucking gum that's all I wanted I just wanted gum man and I got caught by my mother my mom said hey if you do that again you're not gonna go to this place back this place again and I was like well I want to go back so I stopped after that I don't steal I know it's wrong. I have the thoughts, yeah, but I don't do it because I know it's wrong. You shouldn't steal just because of your sexuality or because you think you're being cool. You shouldn't do that just because it's wrong either way. Likewise, wonders why there's a lack of empathy regarding minimum wage minimum wagers remembers this is the same artist who made the new guy comic uh, if you don't know the new guy comic was it was a bad comic uh i it the best thing i can say is um go on to the artist's uh twitter and find it and read it that's the most i will say i'm not gonna comment on it it's not my place some people don't like it either I don't know the whole repercussion. Uh, I don't know the whole story about it, but I've heard it's not good. But that's not my place to say whether it is or not. But yeah, it's best just to go read it. 
that's the most I can say. And it's nothing terrible. It's not like, um, you know what, that kind of thing. If you don't know, it's not the not safe for work stuff, if I remember correctly. It's just something the artist is infamous for, I guess. As we continue. Maybe don't promote stealing and playing it off with cute art. Some places don't reprimand the imp- Repri- I don't know what this word is. Reprimand the employees, but a lot of us get into real trouble if we're on not if we're not on top of really petty theft like this. You're not hurting the company. You're hurting regular people just trying to get by, which is true. It, it's really much true. You like I've, I'm I keep reiterating this. Don't steal because you think you're doing something amazing. Don't steal because you think. You are sticking it to the man. You're really not. You're doing the you're doing the employees dirty. That's basically what you're doing. If you cared about the employees, you would literally just buy what you need. You shouldn't steal because you think you're sticking it to the man or the corporates or whatnot. You shouldn't do that no matter what. Because at the end of the day, you're just being a prick at that point. And no, I'm not saying the artist is being a prick. I'm just stating to everyone, if you think about stealing, just don't do it. Because you you will get caught and you will go to jail. That's just how it works. It's like stealing out of someone's house. You wouldn't do that. Because it's wrong. Like was. Uh, this was underneath the, that comment. Selfish people don't care. Don't care. They'll take as many Copic markers that they absolutely that they absolutely don't need without one, once considering how their consequences affect everyone else. It's like people that don't understand that what you do does have a consequence. Like, you may think, like, oh, I'm getting away with this. Well, one day you're going to get caught. That's why there's security cameras. Likewise, stealing isn't cute, but okay. Had just quirky and cute things, right? And there was a meme underneath. Uh, being LGBT is not a shield from criticism. So one from what I heard um, is that people are stating that if you criticize the this artist that you're being um, that you're being I guess transphobic or something. I don't quite know. And it's really deflecting from the true um, like what's actually going on, which is the artist s- stole when they were younger and still don't care that much or in the sense of they don't understand that what they did was wrong and i'm like I've, i keep reiterating this i sound like a broken record but don't steal something that you don't need you don't need expensive markers you don't need the best paper in the world what you need is food and water or drinks. That's what you need. You don't need the expensive fucking markers. That's why I don't buy those. One, because obviously I don't use them. I don't color on paper anymore. I don't do traditional art. That's not something I do. I don't like doing it. It's tough for, it's tough for me to do, so I don't do it. I'm a digital artist. I know that. And I also do acrylics and watercolor. That's all I know how to do. I wouldn't buy markers because I want markers, obviously. If I was to buy something that's art supplies that is something I don't use, I would get it for my friend. Because I know she would like it. But you shouldn't deflect criticism because of your sexuality or your gender. Because at that point, you're not taking responsibility for your actions. You're looking at your actions and going... Well, if someone criticizes me, it's because I'm this. No, we're criticizing you because you're stupid. And because you don't, you're not understanding where we're coming from. It's one big giant mess when people don't listen. So, we continue. I worked retail, and while I didn't get fired for customers stealing merch, we absolutely were threatened and had to deal with angry customers wondering where our stock of supplies went. And just because you didn't get fired doesn't mean others won't. True ass statement there. I didn't lose hours when I worked any of my jobs, but it's still something 
like I've said it before, you shouldn't do it. There is no excuse for for stealing. You may see it as petty theft, yes. You may see it as not a big deal. But at the end of the day, that is someone else's job that you're putting at risk. That's like, uh, let's take someone who is a veterinarian or nurse. You wouldn't claim that they harmed you just because they wouldn't let you have something. That's like if I went to fucking urgent care, claimed something, and they told me that I didn't have it. Because I my vitals didn't show it. Now, I'm not stating that they didn't do what they should have done. Like, let's say I am claiming that I have the flu. And they check it and say, no, you actually have a cold. I shouldn't be complaining that I was wrong. I should be like, oh, I thought it was the flu. And if they go, well, your vitals didn't match the flu, I'd be like, okay. That's how you behave with certain things. You shouldn't complain. You shouldn't gaslight. You shouldn't send hateful people to other people because you fucked up. Now, I'm not saying the artist did that. I'm not saying that. But what I'm stating is don't be that person that ruins it for everyone. It's like those kids at at school who whenever they did something stupid, the teacher will always be like, well, now we can't do this because that person ruined it. Everyone hates that person. Now, granted, I don't agree with what the teacher said. You could have just taken the kids somewhere else so they can do something else and let the other kids do it. But you always get those parents that are like, why didn't my kid get to watch this movie or get to participate? And you have to explain. Because your kids ruined it for everyone else and I didn't want them to go through that. And it's one big, long, angry, angry, hateful words. And no one should have to go through that. I went on another tangent. Wonderful. Um, But this is underneath the tweet that I read. Sorry if I keep on going tangent. I really don't agree with stealing. Uh, I can understand people in bad situations needing to take things to survive. I'm in no position to judge them, only to offer discounts. But shoplifting does not stick it to the man. It makes the staff's lives harder, especially male staff, who's expected to chase down thieves. Yeah, a lot of places that I've seen, they usually don't. Because from what I've heard, usually they say do not go after the person if they get in the parking lot. That's from what I've heard. But I don't know how true that is because I've never had that kind of situation. I love that the only reason that this is the one, this one shoplifting comic is getting flamed and no one wants to admit is because the OP is a trans woman and also nearly all of them have no retail experience. First off, it's not because OP is a trans woman. I never knew. I thought from what everyone was saying that it was a cis girl. Not my problem. Everyone was saying that. I guess cis girl. No. It's not because OP is trans. It's because OP made a comic basically defending their actions or defending stealing that that's why we're pissed at them. That's the reason. It's not because of anything else. It's not because we don't like trans women. And it's not because of whatever bullshit you have. Because it's not that. I worked retail before. It, it's not fun because you have to deal with people. You have to deal with people that think they can get away with shit. I still ha- I, I'm working at a garden center where I work for a company that gives flowers to a p- company. And I have to deal with people like asking like so many questions like, Oh, uh, why are you getting rid of the flowers? Are you going to donate them? And I have to tell them, I can't. They're going to die. I don't think old people are going to want that. I think they would be disrespected. Or I had to deal with people wondering if they can get a discount on things. That's not my place to do that. These are the flowers that I had to provide. But I'm getting rid of these because they're going to die, honey. I don't think you want them. They're going to die here soon. That's not my place. And I have. Uh, most of my work has been retail. They are hardworking. And they're never as people make them out to be. They're never... They can be enjoyable, yes. Sometimes I've seen people... I've seen someone get chased by a fucking goose. That was pure entertainment for me. Because I'm over there doing flowers and I see a woman get chased by a goose. Now, granted, the woman's okay. The goose didn't hurt her. But I was like, you should have seen the goose. But then again, I noticed that there was two and I went, huh, didn't think that. 
I didn't laugh out loud, but I was internally thinking, damn, that's funny. Because it is. It may be harsh, but fuck, you don't mess with the goose. You don't mess with them. You let someone else. But I'm glad the woman's okay. That's the most I can say. But, no, it's not because OP's trans, and it's not because uh, we don't have retail experience. I have had retail experience. I don't care if OP's trans. You don't steal. Oh, I think I have to say. And that is the rest of the screenshots that I chose to bring up. There was some, there was another dude uh, that was calling people that uh, were criticizing OP by saying that you're a bootlicker. Boot liquor. I can't say words. Don't take that out of context. I'm trying to say boot liquor. That's a hard word to say. And no, it's not because that's what we're doing. It's because we want people to take responsibility for their actions. There's nothing else to it. Um, but I'm going to end the video here. Um, yeah, this was just a clusterfuck. I don't mind it. It was a big ass clusterfuck. In my opinion. OP should have known that this was going to happen. Because people do not like people who shoplift. So, yeah. Uh, OP, or the artist, if you see this, I'm only criticizing how, one, you're handling the situation, and two, how, uh, how, I don't want to say you're stupid, but just the fact that you were actually wrong on certain statements, and how you're vilifying other people instead of shoplifters because they steal you shouldn't defend that likewise i'm gonna end the video here guys i wanted to make this video a while ago i got the chance to do it i'm happy i'm gonna go back to my cave and probably sleep for another three days i don't know why but i'm really tired see ya